there, welcome to Photoix. In this video I'm going to quickly show you how to set auto ISO on the D700. Um, auto ISO is really useful um, for when you're in uh, shooting conditions where you don't know what the light's going to do. Um, it allows you to set a predetermined shutter speed and then the camera will then raise the ISO uh, to compensate. So first we press the menu button then come to the shooting menu click OK press up and you'll see it there ISO sensitivity settings press the middle button you can see here at the moment it is off um, at the top here set your base ISO um, I'm going to leave mine on 200 and then turn on auto ISO now the next uh, two options you have here are the maximum sensitivity. This gives you a range of all the ISO settings starting from 400. So basically this option is the highest you want the camera to push up the ISO. Um, I tend to leave mine on 6400 but if you're not comfortable shooting at that with the noise that brings then you can choose 3200 or 1600 and then the minimum shutter speed now I change this depending on what lens I'm using if I'm using my 300 millimeter f4 lens I set this to 1 400th of a second that means that the camera will raise the ISO as soon as the shutter speed drops below 1 400th of a second. The lens I've currently got on is the 16 to 35. Now I probably wouldn't really use auto ISO for this lens but just to show you I know I can comfortably hand hold this lens at 1 30th of a second at ISO 200 and so I'm going to choose 1 30th of a second. As soon as the shutter speed drops below 1 30th of a second the camera will automatically raise the ISO in increments uh, to keep that shutter speed. So I'm going to set that at 130. Obviously you can set it to whatever everyone can handhold differently. Uh, once you've done that just click OK and the camera is now set up for auto ISO. You can see here on the screen ISO auto is flashing that means it's currently engaged. Now you can see here, I've set the aperture at f11 and you can see the shutter speed is 30. Um, if I turn auto ISO off, and you'll see the shutter speed is now 5 at ISO 200. If I turn auto ISO back on, you can see it goes straight to 1 30th of a second. That's because in the menu just now I set it to be at 1 30th of a second, um, minimum shutter speed, and it's raised the ISO to, in this case, 1250 to keep that shutter speed. As I change my aperture, you can see f13 goes to ISO 2000, F14 2200, F16 2500 and so on. It's raising the ISO each time I raise the aperture or lower the aperture. So as you can see at F4 we're alright on ISO 200, at 4.5 250, F5 280. Auto ISO is a really good feature when you don't want to worry about getting uh, blurry shots due to slow shutter speed. You can just let the camera sort it out um, with the D700 and its uh, brilliant high ISO capability. Even shooting at ISO 6400 I don't really need to worry too much about noise. Uh, in Lightroom I can sort that out quite easily. 
What I've also done is on the bottom function button on the D700, I've assigned a custom menu. So as soon as I press that, it goes to the ISO auto on and off control. So really quickly, I can just press that button and turn my auto ISO on or off depending on the conditions I'm in. Okay, thank you very much. Hope that was useful. Bye.